get started with all the stocks that are in focus today. And for that, uh, we are joined by um, uh, Ruchit Jain, on, who's from the lead, who's a lead research from uh, FivePesa.com on the technicals, and uh, from our research team, we are joined by Anj. Hi, both of you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, HDFC, Ruchit, you've picked out HDFC for us on the charts. Uh, tell us, this counter has done nothing in the last uh, uh, either six months or last one month. It's, it's been in long consolidation. Uh, when does this start moving? Why have you picked out this counter for us today? All of you. Uh, well, if you look at last three or four months, the stock has seen a broad consolidation phase. Recently, along with the bank nifty, the stock rallied, but again, the previous swing high of 1790, where uh, you know, the July highs were there, the stock has again retraced from those levels. And the lower end of this entire consolidation phase is in the range of 1580 to 1600. So I think that would be very crucial support to watch out for. Uh, so 1580 to 1600 is the range where if the momentum readings become oversold, then I think one can again expect some pullback move or some stability over there. So the short term trend along with the market still remains weak, but 1580 to 1600 would be the very crucial support and hence I have picked so that traders can keep it on their radar. Okay, so that's the view coming in on HDFC Bank. Alright, so Federal Bank down 5%, but Ruchit, you also picked out Federal Bank for us on the technical. So if I take a look at the uh, chart movement of the stock or the stock performance, in fact, over the last six months, it's given a 20% return. Last one month, however, it's slightly in the negative. Year to date, also a modest 18% return. So um, where are you seeing this stock headed from now? Because it's been um, a rather tempered performance. It's not been um, as great compared to these uh, small all the private banks so uh, what's your outlook going ahead so today's uh, no, uh, today's price action looks a bit weak because the stock has breached its important uh, no 40 dma support and especially if you look at the derivative segment today's down move of five percent has been led up by increase in open interest of around ten percent which in, uh, indicates a huge uh, no short formations in the derivative segment so when there are fresh short formations in the stock and the market is low, uh, no going down so I think that's where uh, that's why we could see a significant underperformance in the federal bank, and in the near term we could see the stock heading further lower towards 174, 175 kind of level. Okay, so that's the view coming in on federal bank. Let's resume then. Uh, Ruchit, coming to you, you have uh, picked out Jubilee and Foodworks for us. Uh, tell us what are you seeing on the charts for this one? Uh, one month of consolidation is what I see on the charts. Uh, tell us, uh, do you see a breakout from here on? So the stock has you know, witnessed some correction you know, in the last few days along with the broader markets, but now it's getting quite, quite close to its 89 EMS support, which is around 600 to 610 range. Also, the hourly readings are a bit oversold. So, I think if we see any kind of pullback moves in the market, then Jubilant Food could be one stop where you know, technically at least a pullback towards 670, 680 could be expected. So, I think here the downside for now seems to be very limited and we can expect a pullback move in the stock so if one has to take any contract rates you know for in the markets then jubilant food could be one stock where one can keep a strict stop loss below uh, 580 and look for buying positions okay so that's the view coming in on jubilant food but let's Richard, coming to you reliance is uh, the reliance industry is what you picked out for us uh, uh, another stock uh, that is in a long consolidation mode uh, tell us from here on where does it go yeah, so the stock has been consolidating since some time. In fact, if you look at the month of February, the prices rallied from the support of 2720 uh, towards 3200 kind of level. And since then, it has consolidated within that broad range. Now again, the stock has corrected recently and that 2700, 2720, it's approaching those levels. So I think here too, the stock is now trading around its support. So I uh, know we could see limited downside in the stock. I think around 2700, 2680, this could be one stock where you know, one can look for buying uh, uh, opportunities. Okay, so those are the levels to watch out for uh, for those interested in buying Reliance. Uh, good levels uh, mentioned by Ruchit over there. But let's uh, move on. Ruchit, uh, you've picked out Infosys. Now, the IT pack is going to be in focus uh, this week on the back of their quarter two numbers. And uh, tell us what you are making of this stock on the charts. What's the direction that you see the stock headed in? So in fact, if we look at the Nifty IT index today, although the most of the sectors have corrected, but this is only one index which is standing in green. And I think uh, no, the downside, at least price-wise downside seems to be very limited uh, because the index has been taking support around its 20-day, 40-day uh, exponential moving average. Similarly, Infosys has also been holding above its support of 1870. So till that 1870 level is intact, I think there could be some relative outperformances in Infosys and well. All right. Uh... There comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise. Plant your feet solid into the ground. Decide your own limits and then break right through them.
become something more. It's my time to rise.